How's it going, people? Well, let's take a journey back to before the Nephites, all the way back to like a Tower of Babel and all that. That's right, we're uh, now in the Book of Ether, learning about the Jaredites. And I'm not talking about a bunch of Subway sandwich pushers. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. The record of the Jaredites, taken from the 24 plates found by the people of Limahai. I remember that well. In the days of King Bosiah. That's a big masthead. And um, there's another one after that. But let's pour some uh, old chub. Prophet Ether's genealogy. They're going to do a genealogy in the BOM finally. I mean, the closest we had was the Book of Omni saying, Yeah, hi, I'm so and so. I'm the son of so and so. Okay, that's all I have to say. And then someone else, Hey, I'm his kid and I just want to say hi. <laughs> there was a period of time where it's like, Gee, we can't really do a genealogy, so we'll just like have all these walk ons. But this has got a real genealogy. The Great Tower! Jared and his brother, their language not confounded. No babble for them. Preparing for migration as directed by the Lord. And I guess that covers uh, chapter one. Alright, let's check it out. And now. I, Moroni, he's like uh, the Rod Serling of this little book here. He just pops up and does a little talk every once in a while. He does these little wrestling promos, you know. <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, Proceed to give an account of these, of those ancient inhabitants who were destroyed by the hand of the Lord upon the face of this north country kind of a clue. It's north. Two. And I take mine account from the twenty and four plates which were found by the people of Limhi, which is called the Book of Ether. Three. And as I suppose that the first part of this wreck and as I suppose that the first part of this record, which speaks concerning the creation of the world, and also of Adam, oh, we got the lost book of Abraham for that shit, and on account from the time even of the great tower to whatsoever things transpired among the children of men until that time, is had among the Jews. Oh, so they're saying this, most of this information, you got it in your Bibble, your Holy Bibble. Four. Therefore, I do not write those. But you wasted a lot of gold telling us all about that. I mean, we're on verse four already, and you haven't even got started. He's such a good abridger. <laughs> Ew. I don't know what he does. Uh... Yeah, I do not write those things which transpired from the days of Adam until that time. But they are had upon the plates. It's to get those. And whoso findeth them, the same will have power that he may get the full account. Especially if you've got a magic rock handy. You can stick it in your hat. Five, and behold, I give not the full account, but a part of the accounts. He's abridging right now. 
He's just telling us about it all. What a part of the account I give. From the tower down until they were destroyed. Six, and on this wise do I give the account. He that wrote this record was Ether. And he was a descendant of Coriantor. Seven, Coriantor was a son of Moron. And Moron was the son of Etham. And Etham was the son of Aha. Aha. Aha or Aha. Aha! That's what it is. Ten! And Aha was the son of, of Seth. Eleven. And Seth was the son of Shiblon. At twelve, and Shiblon was the son of Com, C O M, like in dot com. <laughs> Thirteen, and Com was the son of Coriantum, Coriantum. Uh, Fourteen, and Coriantum was the son of Amnagada, Gadada. Amni Gada. Duh. No, that's an H, not a D. Sorry. It's been a long day. My vision isn't so good anyway. Should be wearing my glasses, but. Yeah, yeah that, that guy was uh, also the son of uh, Aaron. <laughs> Amni Gada. Davida. Um, 16. And Aaron was a descendant of Heath, or Heth. Wait, it's, it's Heth. There's no A in it. Of Heth. He was a son of Hartom. H E A R T H O M. Hirthom. 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 17. And. Hartom, or whatever the fuck. I couldn't be looking up the pronunciation table right now, but I'm too lazy. Uh, was a son of Lib. 18. And Lib was a son of Kish. 19. And Kish was a son of Koram. 20. And Koram was a son of Levi. 21. And Levi was the son of Kim. 22. And Kim was the son of Morianton. 23. And Morianton was a descendant of Rip uh, Lakash. Rip Lakash. Rip Lakish. Rip Lakish. Ish. Yeah. It was the son of Shez. 45. And Shez was the son of Heth. Maybe a different Heth. And Heth was the son of Com, as in dot com, who was also in, uh. I'm not repeating myself, am I? Nope, I'm not repeating myself. 13 was calm. Uh, calm. 13 was calm. And he's back in 27. Gotta be a different calm. It's a common name. It's short for common, I think. Calm. Was the son of Coriantum. All right. Wow. And they're wasting gold on this, too. He's, a, he's almost out of gold. Twenty-eight, and Coriantum was the son of Emer. Twenty-nine, and Emer was the son of Omer. Thirty, and Omer was the son of Shul. And thirty-one, and Shul was the son of Kib. 
32. And Kib was a son of... Or... Oraha, who was the son of Jared. 33, which Jared came forth with his brother. Hang on, man. I, I deserve this after that. Which Jared came forth with his brother and their families, with some others, and their families. So they're not just freeloaders, they got families too. Uh, from the Great Tower! <laughs> the Tower of Babel. God, they make it sound like it's like, wow, it's way up there! I don't even think they invented mortar yet. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. Well, no, no, no. This is, we're going back in time. That's right. They don't have cement. They don't, probably don't have steel then, you think? All right, let's get on with this. The Great Tower. At the time, the Lord confounded the language of the people and swore in his wrath that they should be scattered upon all the face of the earth. It's probably easier back when it was flat, huh? <laughs> According to the word of the Lord, the people were scattered. 30, 34. And the brother of Jared, being a large and mighty man, and a man highly favored of the Lord. Uh, Jared, his brother, said unto him, What does that have to do with that little... He just slipped a little descriptor in there. You know, like, let's throw a little description in real quick while we're giving exposition here. Jared, his brother, said unto him, Cry unto the Lord. Apparently he's taller, it might have a better chance of reaching. That he will not confound us, and we may not understand our words. Thirty-five. And it came to pass. Yeah, better late than never. That the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord, and the Lord had compassion upon Jared. Therefore, he did not confound the language of Jared, and Jared his and his brother were not confounded. Thirty-six. Then Jared said unto his brother. Cry again unto the Lord. This slot's pan off. No. And it may be that he will turn away his anger from them who are our friends. And he can found not their languages. Thirty seven. And it came to pass. Taken off, man. Just gotta have a little faith. Mustard seed will knock a mountain over. By the way, Jesus thought a mustard seed was the smallest thing. I totally lost my place. I think it was 37. Yeah. Uh, that the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord, and the Lord had compassion upon his friends and their families also, that they were not confounded. 38. Man, it came to pass.
that, Jared spake again unto his brother, saying, Go and inquire of the Lord. Why can't you do it? You do some crying, Bjorn. It's your turn to cry. Go and acquire of the Lord whither he will drive us out of the land. And if he will drive us out of the land, cry unto him whither we shall go. And who knoweth but the Lord which, uh, but the Lord which carry us forth into the land, which is choice above all the earth? Be, uh, wait, wait, all the earth? And if it so be, let us be faithful unto the Lord, that we may receive it for our inheritance. 39. And it came to pass. That the brother of Jared did cry unto the Lord, according to that which had been spoken by his by the mouth of Jared. Shades of JC, you can't pray to his dad now, you have to pray to him to and he'll pass it on. And if you're Catholic, it gets even more complicated. Or maybe that's, that makes it easier, you know. It's like pantheon, you know. It's um, it's like having a pantheon that yet yeah, just one God. Yeah. Same as Hinduism, they do the same thing. Even the one with the elephant trunk. It's all the same one in different aspects. Same power, the uh, great Brahma. Enough of that tangent. Forty. We're gonna get through this. Forty. And it came to pass. Just what I needed. That the Lord did hear the brother of Jared. This isn't tedious at all, is it? Uh, and his and had compassion upon him and said unto him 41 go to and gather together thy flocks who are also not confounded they still speak like sheep talk <laughs> both male and female that was a smart commandment there yeah, in case you want more later on. Of every kind! Okay, some more Noah's Ark time. And also of the seed of the earth of every kind. <clears throat> and thy families. And also Jared, thy brother, who... <laughs> Jared thy brother and his family and also thy friends and their families and the friends of Jared and their families he's running out of gold by the way 42 because he says he's got the other gold plates with the Jaredite story, and they're reburied. If we find them, we got the power to actually know what the whole story was. But it's in the Bible, so fuck it. That's what they said. 42. And when thou hast done this, thou shalt go at the head of them down into the valley, which is northward. And there... 
will I meet thee, and I will go before thee into a land which is choice. Above all the lands of the earth, Forty-three, and there will I bless thee and thy seed, and raise up unto me of thy seed, and of the seed of thy brother. Got a parasitic note to that, don't you think? And they who shall go with thee, a great nation. And he's going to feed up. <laughs> it sounds like the Horla, you know, from uh, oh, that French writer, I forgot his name, from the turn of the previous century. Um, total ramble fest, sorry. Um, 43. And there will I bless thee and thy seed, and raise up unto me of thy seed and of the seed of thy brother and they who shall go with thee so you're all his biatch a great nation and there shall be none greater mm. that remains to be seen I'm hopeful being a part of this nation, but I'm also doubtful. But I'm a skeptic anyway. And there shall be none greater than the nation which I will raise up unto me of thy seed. Upon all the face of the earth. And thus I will do unto thee because of this long time ye have cried unto me. Now shut the fuck up! <laughs> I added that last part, but it does fit. Uh, Alright, that's it for one. I'm tempted to go on. Read two. Because it's getting better, I can tell. But let's read a chapter. Let's read a section of DNC and see how I feel after that. Maybe I'll read chapter two right after this. Since I only had one fucking beer, but it is an old chub, and they are 8% by volume alcohol. Stay tuned. This could get interesting, but eh, I don't know. Who can say? None of us are prophets, and I'm not making anything. <laughs> So stay tuned or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I want you to and that's all that matters. Because I'm selfish that way. I want you all to have a wonderful whatever. Now! Just kidding. <laughs> Just fucking around.